if somebody has shown you this, you're probably never going to see it or never going to know. Terpenoid is a not only um, not great for the environment, but it's also not cheap. In recycling it, you can reuse it over and over again, save yourself some money, and also, you know, not kill the environment as much. I have my dirty terp, which is terpenoid that's been used to paint with, and it's got uh, pigment mixed in with it, and it's just, you know, it's not clean terpenoid. What I'm going to do is shake it up. Uh, to use a rag to hold it will help so in case stuff spills out, you know, it's not going to spill out on you. And I also have a couple jars. I actually have a jar, one jar for terpenoid that's been recycled and cleaned, which is this jar. I have a jar of terp that's been poured into you know, these are just mason jars where the terp, the dirty terp was poured in here maybe three or four days ago and what happens is it goes from being um, something you can't use to to something that you know it's a cleaned out cleaned out pigment you know I can reuse this stuff over and over again All the paint sludge on the bottom separates from the terpenoid, you know, and what ha and you'll you'll gradually gradually just get, you know, more and more paint built up. This jar here, that's what all that is. That's old built up paint, you know. So over time, when this gets fuller, I can pour all the terpenoid out of it and just let it air dry, and this will just be old dry paint. I can just throw this jar out. You know, there's no toxic terp in it. So this is my dirty terp that I shook up. I'm going to take the cap off. Grab my funnel. And I'm going to pour this into that jar. All right. I'm going to take some of this recycled terp Pour a little bit in there. Put the cap back on. With this, you could even wear gloves. Like if you're worried about getting this on your hands, you could wear plastic gloves, rubber gloves. Shake it up. Cap it off. Pour the rest back in there. You know, if you take a palette knife or a or butter knife or something, I can open this up and see that it's cleaned out now. And I can either use the recycled turp or the brand new stuff. But I just use a recycled. And it's clean again. I'm ready to go. Over a couple of days, this will separate and I can pour it into the recycled. Just make sure that you close everything when you're done. Because it is pretty toxic stuff. It's good to um, open a window. If you have really bad ventilation, you might want to get a respirator. You know, um, I have I have this that sometimes I'll actually wear if I need it. You know, it's just a it's a respirator to protect yourself from the toxic fumes. <clears throat> That's it for that.